Hello and welcome to the Bang Picks video for the Los Angeles Clippers at Phoenix Suns. I'm your host, Matthew Mono for Lamps.com, joined by my resident NBA experts, Drew Norton and Braxton Reynolds. 13-point spread. Um, coming off of victory, the Clippers just beat the Warriors, but however, it's the back end of a back-to-back -back playing at, I mean, can we say the best team in the NBA in Phoenix? It's going to be a tough game for the Clippers. That's what has led to a 13-point spread despite the performance last night. And Braxton, are you comfortable going with the Suns minus 13? Are you backing the Clippers to cover this one? I'm going with Suns to cover. Um, Kennard's questionable. Powell is out. And without Kennard, he's kind of a high-variance player. He can hit a lot of threes and keep the game closer than it should. And the Suns are coming off a five-game winning streak. They beat... All in a row, the Levine, DeRozan, Vucevic, Bulls, Embiid, 76ers, and Giannis, Holiday, Middleton, Bucks, And they beat the Bucks by 24. Coming off of that, they beat the Magic by 27 points. The Suns are rolling right now, and I really expect Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton to just tear apart the Clippers in the pick and roll. We know Reg Jackson can get torched in that set. 13 is a lot of points, but I guess I'm going the over here. And I, I mean, this cover this red. Yeah, DraftKings is actually freaking out right now. It just moved to uh, minus 13 at minus 105. But yeah, I, I agree. I mean, Jackson played 40 minutes last night. I was saying to the guys before the video started that even during dead ball, this man was working his butt off. He was making sure that Curry's threes wouldn't go into the hoop by hanging on the rim and punching the ball out. He expended a lot of energy, to say the least, and now he's got to go guard a pick and roll against the best team in the NBA. I'm not saying the plus 13's a trap game because at the end of the day, plus 13, you are leaving a lot of room for a backdoor cover from the Clippers, but the spread's not that outlandish despite the win against the Warriors. Like, There's a lot of things going here for the Suns, and most of all, in my opinion, it's the energy. They're just going to be much more well-rested than the Clippers, and they're already the better team at home. Uh, Drew, over under, which, again, DraftKings is freaking out on me, so I don't even have the number in front of me anymore. Uh, let me try and refresh the page. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know. I guess... Go ahead, Drew. <laughs> Do you have the numbers? <laughs> We're talking about this being the easier. <laughs> yeah. No. So, look... Um, Honestly, I think it was around 223 and a yeah. half, yeah, I want to say, right. roughly. Yeah. So in this game, I have to lean the over. I know the Clippers had to shoot 56% from the field to hang a 119 on the Warriors. I get that. But the Suns have dropped 130 in back-to-back -back games. They're starting to play at a, a bit of a quicker pace. And I know part of that is because they played the Bucks, who were – constantly moving like they just they play at a very fast pace but the orlando magic i mean they hung a 130 plus ball on them too obviously I, I mean i look at this clippers team and it is a little bit scary the spread because you're like well they just beat they just absolutely dubbed a warriors team at home but this is the second night of a back-to-back -back. like matt said they expended a significant amount of injury i mean pff, energy they, they expended a significant amount of energy. That's a lot of words. Um, and really, I just, I don't see them hanging in there. I don't see them hanging in there by 12, 13 points. I think backdoor cover is a little bit scary, but this should be a 20 point game. And I also like the idea of the Suns hanging like 125 on them and the Clippers getting 105, some, something in that ballpark. So I, I lean the slight over. I don't think it's a slam dunk, but I, I don't hate it by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, so I was able to get alternate totals right now because, again, they just took away the uh, the game line. And you get the Suns minus 13.5 at minus 105, oh. and you get over 225 at minus 105. So pretty high there, but I'm with, I mean, I'll back Drew. I am a little bit worried about the Clippers shooting with tired legs. Um but what is definitely going to be worse is their defense, and the Suns can easily... Right. I think 125 is almost like a floor for the Suns this game. Maybe 123 is the floor, but they can get upwards of 135, 137, and then all of a sudden, it, it literally does not matter what the Clippers do. There's, you're right. almost always hitting the over. 
Um, yeah. So let's move to the vast amount of player props were being offered for this game. And I was making a sarcastic joke, but at least we got Mikel Bridges, Jay Crowder, Booker, Ian, and Chris Paul. Now we got the starting five for the Suns. Um, again, the line movement is going crazy right now with the point total and spread. So just ignore that in the top right. Braxton, you're going with all reliable uh, assist over for Chris Paul at 11 and a half. Yeah, the Clippers are fourth in spot up defense, but 20th in pick and roll ball handler defense. When you look at the Clippers last five games, the players who destroyed them were Drew Holiday, John Morant, Luca twice, and Curry. And what they have in common is they run the pick and roll for the main ball handler. And over 11.5 assists, Chris Paul, he can hit this at halftime, honestly. That's how good he is. DeAndre Ayton is one of the best role men in the game. So it's an easy dump off to him. I just really like Chris Paul to hit this like nine out of 10 times. Yeah. If you look at his last 10, he's hit out of seven out of 10 games. If you look at the last 20, it's 14. Like he's consistently hitting this at 70% rate and it's just profitable. Like this line isn't really moving. Um, Earlier in the season, it was lower and we were just making a killing every time we talked about the Suns. But even at 11 and a half, like it, it just keeps working. Um, and I, I'm with you. Like this is a prop that I think you can just go with regardless of matchup, regardless of the line, blindly click it for the entire season, probably make money off the sports book because I feel like they're a little scared to go to the 12 and a half, 13 and a half. Um, and uh, this is a game you should have a great one. Drew, favorite player prop. I'm going to stick to my guns. Mikael Bridges over 13 and a half points. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ride this until the freaking wheels fall off, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, this is like that old car that you got in high school, but you're still driving because you don't have a car payment. And you're like, well, I know it's got 250,000 miles, but I haven't had to service it in six months. And this is it's a great deal, man. I mean, look at this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight of the past nine games, this is hit. He's consistently getting upper 30, lower 40 minutes. And the guys, like I said, I said, I literally said this verbatim in a previous video. He's like the energizer guy. This guy doesn't get tired. And they're like, well, he doesn't need the, the rest that other players get. You give this guy 40 minutes, he's going to get the 14 points. The one time that this prop didn't hit, he finished with 12 points, only played 26 minutes. He hasn't played 26 minutes in at least his past 11 besides the game against the Wizards. Ever since then, he's played at least 30 minutes, mostly in the the upper 30s, lower 40s. So, like I said, you give this guy 39, 40, 41 minutes, he's going to get you five back doors. He's going to get two threes (laughs) and then some, you know, cherry pick layup. He's good for 16 to 20. And we even saw that between January 30th and February 30th at three straight 20 point games, 26, 27, 24. Um, like I just Clippers are going to be tired. They're not going to want to guard Mikel Bridges running all over the place for 40 minutes. It's not, it, it, and it won't happen. So I think this is a just surefire best player prop that's out there. Minus 130 is still really great value. This is the one I'm on. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, if you go down to single game parlay. Oh, it looks like they don't have player prop single game parlays currently. Never mind. I was going to make a Mikel Bridges one. I guess I won't. Uh, well, you can probably swing over to FanDuel. You can give yours and I'll swing over to FanDuel. That kind of was mine. I really don't have a player prop. Again, Mikel Bridges is... I love his steals, but it's at minus 200, so no point in betting that. Um, it would be more intriguing if they gave me a number for one and a half, which they just refused to do, and it can't even uh, make the parlay. So I'm just going to sit this one out. I say that the Suns, the over, Chris Paul assists, Mikel Bridges points, these are these are all great props. I mean, I think an A and double-double is sitting at plus 120. I don't hate it. I want it slightly, slightly longer. If we uh, take a look really quick at how this player prop has been doing, I'm going to fill time 
really quickly well, as I go to the Clippers are 28th in the league in defensive rebound percentage. So the opportunity is going to be there for Aiton to get the eventual bricks from Clippers players that will probably happen on a back to back. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Braxton and coming good in for clutch. The points. I don't even gotta I don't even gotta explain it. And it's hit in two of our last five games. So yeah, you know what? Between the matchup, two out of five, I'll, I'll definitely take the plus one twenty. Shop it around. I'm very curious to see if you can get upwards of plus one thirty five, plus one forty on another sports book. Depending on your state, you may have, you know, eight to ten options. So again, never just look at what we're giving you on DK and just run over there and bet it. You know. Check out FanDuel, Caesars, BetMGM. You got points bet. You got Unibet. You got Bet Rivers. You probably have more options. It, it's getting insane how many options there are out there, which means almost every single bet. If you're placing single bets, you you probably can get better odds uh, somewhere else. All right. I got one more, Matt, real quick. Go ahead. Quick. So, single game parlay, DraftKings, Mikel Bridges over thirteen and a half points, over four and a half rebounds, over one half steals pair those together do a little bridges over single game parlay i really like this one for obvious reasons that i've already stated what is it what are the odds what are the odds sorry my thing's covered it's kind of important when when placing a parlay drew i will throw that up Um, just a little bit Just, just just a little bit that's got to be in the plus like six, seven hundred range, right? Because the one and a half steals scares it's me not, a little bit. I'm not logged in. It's not giving me in for some reason. Well, there you go. All right. Just scrap it. <laughs> Whatever. Forget the interjection Drew just had. Forget I it mean, all. Let me, let me check really quick to see if they gave it to us yet on DraftKings. Now they're still not. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Ignore Drew, um, our resident goofy goober. Phoenix Suns. <laughs> Minus 13 or 13 and a half or whatever the line. Okay, it's minus 13 at 105. Let's do that. Let's click that. And then it's over 223 at minus 110. Um, much better lines there. So Suns by 13, minus 105, over 223 and a half, minus 110. We got, yes, DeAndre Ayn double double at plus 120. Kel Bridges over 13 and a half points at minus 125. And Chris Ball over 11 and a half assists at minus 110. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you can click subscribe and the bell to get notified. When these videos go up, if you like this one, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike. And comment down below uh, your odds on a Mikel Bridges same game parlay because apparently Drew can't get them. We'll see you for the next one very soon.